Now, it's my privilege to get to introduce Jill Ruby. She is the Undersecretary for Nuclear Security here at the Department of Energy and also the Administrator of NNSA. Well, good morning. Um, thank you, uh, Dr. Prubacher, for joining NNSA to celebrate our incredible achievement. And thank you, Secretary Granholm, for kicking us off and being such a tremendous supporter of science. This success would not be possible without the strong support for foundational research by the U.S. government and by the sustained investment in our national laboratories. Monday, December 5th, 2022, was an important day in science. Reaching ignition in a controlled fusion experiment is an achievement that has come after more than 60 years of global research, development, engineering, and experimentation. The people at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory's National Ignition Facility reached this ignition milestone because of the work others did before them, their analysis of data and models, their continued pursuit to have the best possible facility, and their sheer excellence and grit. I would like to thank the members of Congress, thank you so much for being here today, that supported the National Ignition Facility because your belief in the promise of visionary science has been critical for our mission. I'd also like to thank the international partners that worked with us on this because their collaboration demonstrates the power and possibility of advancing scientific pursuits. But finally, a giant thank you to the talented federal defense programs and national security enterprise teams that supported this work at Lawrence Livermore. We are so proud of the accomplishments of our Livermore's National Ignition Facility. The <clears throat> The National Ignition Facility is the world's largest and most energetic laser system. During experiments, 192 high energy lasers converge on a target about the size of a peppercorn, heating, the, heating a capsule of deuterium and tritium to over 3 million degrees Celsius and briefly simulating the conditions of a star. In achieving ignition, the researchers at Lawrence Livermore have opened a new chapter in NNSA's science-based stockpile stewardship program, enabling us to study new regimes. Along with this, we have taken the first tentative steps towards a clean energy source that could revolutionize the world. Early this, earlier this year, I had the uh, opportunity to remember the 30th anniversary of Divider, the last explosives nuclear weapons test conducted by the United States. And reflecting on Divider, I spoke of how, how far our stockpile stewardship program has come and in how many ways we now understand our nuclear weapons better than we did when we were testing. Unlocking ignition at NIF will allow us to probe the extreme conditions found at the center of nuclear explosions and address significant long-standing stewardship questions. The unprecedented nature of reaching ignition confirms what I and previous administrators of the NNSA have been saying for decades. There is no more dedicated or more talented group of scientists in the world as it should be. The tireless efforts of thousands of people from around the national security enterprise, nuclear security enterprise and their predecessors are responsible for this breakthrough. We honor their intelligence, their commitment, and their determination. Going forward, we know we'll have, we will make further breakthroughs, we'll have further setbacks. But all of this is in the interest of promoting national security, pushing towards a clean energy future, and redefining, redefining the boundaries of what's possible. Thank you for being here. I'd like to introduce Marv Adams, the Deputy Administrator for Defense Programs, to speak on this achievement. <clears throat> 